my name is Marsha Jackson, I'm the project manager for the CGI Youth Project. I've been working here for 15 years. First started off as a volunteer um, on a video project actually and then kind of like supported the project, got involved a bit more and then made my way up to development worker and then experience and knowledge and years later becoming the project manager. This is pretty cool. When we first started off we were working with we, no, we, we only ran holiday times, so like the um, summer holidays we ran for four weeks and then we did a Christmas holiday and then over the years, you can say like over the last five years we expanded to um, all the holidays, then running residentials and then in the last three years, um, lottery funded we are running in the days, you know we run like five days a week, we run some act evening activities, weekend activities, so we're pretty much open like 360 days of the year now. So my name's Neil Holman, I work for community safety team at Oxford City Council. Um, I have a role around uh, children and young people and in particular um, diverting them away from crime and antisocial behaviour. So Bladbury is our biggest, biggest single estate in Oxford, um, has a number of issues and a number of problems that we see across the country with large estates, uh, high levels of young people, um, higher than normal levels of unemployment. Um, and, and due to that, young people do get involved in, in crime and antisocial behaviour, generally on a, a very low level. Boredom can be, can be a big issue, but generally you find that um, they have less life chances or lower life chances. Um, so one of the things we really try to do is to provide them with those opportunities, with those chances that all young people in the country should have. Um, and the CDI make that happen. My name's Sharon Hyten. I've worked for CDI in the past. I've done the summer project. I was involved in the consultation that led to us getting the money for, from the lottery. And the problems that are on the state, I feel, are around education, employment, housing, um, and general support. A lot of them are resulting in crime, drugs, um, no aspirations for themselves, let alone anybody else. Um, just lack of motivation, really. There's not enough role models, to be fair. There's only a few people doing something, and those that are doing something are working really hard, but if you haven't got a good group of people coming to sing from the same hymn sheet then you know it's going to be difficult for those few that are working hard to try and get those young people to turn around. Go on then. Lighter. Oh, you stupid skeptic. Why are you being answering your phone? I'm busy, man. Busy what, man? I'm ringing you and you're not answering your phone. Yeah, man, you see, I've had a few problems, man. I was a little bit short on the dirt. What do you mean you've got a bill short? Two bills, three bills. There's most of it in there. Are you trying to set me up or something? You silly. You're having a laugh? Yeah. Where's my money? You know what you said, and obviously I got, I, I ain't actually ready for you yet, but you know what I mean, you just rolled up on me that I got something there, right? Can you get rid of it for me, make yourself a bit of money, we call it Chris. Listen, I know you want to get out of the game, man. Nah, man, I know you've been dealing anyway, right? You shift off for me, you make yourself some paper, we call it a day. Fuck it, I'll do it. How much? You're taking a piss now. Nah, man. Come on, you deal with that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Come on. I'll speak to you soon, yeah? Yeah, I need you, mate. I'm on a bad man thing. What's he on? Drive to your house in a board or Eon. Draw for the tool. Go on it, go on it, go on then. My 
My name is Phil. I'm a volunteer youth worker for Blackburn Leeds CDI. My role within CDI is I take all the sports activities. I played the character of Vinny, who was a drug dealer, and he was basically, his role in the community as a drug dealer was getting the younger generation of kids to sell drugs for him. I think in this day and age, peer pressure is huge, you know, you've got certain minorities who they've had it tough in life, um, they're out in gangs, they want to be accepted, so to be accepted they're willing to get involved with stuff that really they don't want to be involved in, but to be accepted they're willing to put themselves on the line to be part of a gang. Um, like I said, the, the people who come to CDI, they're being given a different outlet in life to, to not be involved in that, but also to understand that that is happening. I think sometimes the way the peer pressure is, um, I don't believe that everybody who carries a knife has got the mindset that he's gonna go out and hurt somebody. You know, I think the peer pressure is so, so bad now that you know, you've got some of the youngsters who feel threatened um, by peer pressure, feel threatened by by gangs. So some of them feel safe in the way of putting a knife in the pocket, thinking, well, if I've got a knife, maybe no one's going to hurt me. Then the problem you've got then is they've got the knife in the pocket, they feel safe because they've got the knife, then all of a sudden they can walk past a gang of lads who they don't particularly get on with, then the situation can dramatically change because the gang of lads can then put the person in a position where he feels threatened and then all of a sudden he's thinking, well hang on, I've got the knife as backup, if I pull the knife out, they're going to be scared and they're not going to want to hurt me. So then you've got, they'll pull the knife out, the other group may pull a knife out and then someone's being stabbed, possibly dying. That doesn't necessarily mean he's took the knife out to hurt them, but purely by having the knife to make himself feel safe, things may evolve where now he's looking at a murder. So, yeah, um, it's, it's a tough one. Like I said, um, I don't believe everybody intentionally goes out carrying knives to intentionally hurt people. Definitely not. I think it's more for safety. I'm Geordie Shaw then. Yeah, I'm listening to one extra. It's Bond Geordie Shaw, man. What? Because I want to watch it. Missed oh, it. shit. I don't fuck with it. I don't watch it. I don't entertain it. <sighs> Where you been in here? Did you go, did you go out last night? No, I stayed in. Did you go out? No, I was fucking... I was in bed by 12. I had an early one. You had an early one? Yeah, some shit happened. What happened? You hear about that man at the top? No, what happened? So, a little man got stabbed. Over what? Like what style? I don't know, I just had it was some money. Obviously, that's not really my area of expertise. But yeah, man up there got stabbed. So, mug's scared. Gonna get me a drink then. Fuck. Please. Talk Should to me like that. Fucking talk to me like shit. Bitch. My name's Natty. Um, I've actually been working for the CDI for about 10 years. 
mainly on uh, the break, so the summer holidays, the half terms. But I've recently uh, come on board because I left my former job as a teaching assistant. So I've taken a more um, full-time role here and mainly to focus on the uh, arts awards and also on the uh, job, uh, job club. <laughs> I must admit that this uh, project has got a kind of a real focus on uh, multimedia. So um, young people can come along and learn about filmmaking, video, uh, photography. Um, a studio has just been built, which, is, which was a former IT hub. And through the uh, big lottery fund, uh, we've managed to be able to uh, convert it into a studio, which is great because then the guys haven't got any financial barrier. Because usually if you go to a studio, you've got to pay a certain higher fees and, and such forth. Here there's no uh, financial barrier, so young people can all come together and gather, which is great because you get beat makers and lyrists and musicians, producers all coming together and sharing and learning together, which I think is uh, great. So it's, 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 it's another way that uh, the CDI are uh, giving the young people a chance for their potential to, to be fulfilled. Because you know, a lot of young people have got potential, as, as we all have, but it's finding the channels and the avenues to get it fulfilled. So that's just a, uh, a perfect, a perfect way of, um, you know, of the young people being, uh, being able to reach the heights. I've been working with CDI for the past five years and it's all about programming of arts and development for them and bring them activities they can enjoy. Um, but for this project, its remit was to engage young people with the issues of guns, knives and guns as well as drugs. So where it stemmed from was a lot of brainstorming and what the young people wanted to do was able to bring that through film. And I think film was a great medium for them to be able to express themselves rather than trying to hit the issue nail on the head saying about what was the key issue of it all. Um, so what this led them from doing was talking about the key issues of drugs and it being a real concern within the Oxford community and they wanted for it to be not so stereotypical. So I think the way that they wanted to do with this was by having a short script. So with CDO, with these great resources of editing suite and cameras and being able to work with professional filmmakers, it able to enhance their understanding of actual film. And it's actually opened their eyes actually for career aspects as well. As well as having the editing suite as well, it's been able push their own creativity with editing because they're going to have full control of what they're actually trying to say and what they're wanting people to understand where they're actually coming from. Also with the radio station it's also been a great opportunity to create links with open air really because they can also enhance their verbal communication as well as learning a new skill and having the opportunity to have the radio station at the back of CDI has also enhanced their experience of being able to have a radio station on our doorsteps. I'd like to get across to the young people that at the end of the day you can get to wherever you want to and 
be whoever you want to be with hard work and that sometimes if you don't get the information you want to get from the people around you you might have to go a bit further than your little circle and get the information you need that's going to help you to get get to where you want to get to basically um, it's, it takes hard work that's the bottom line you want to get somewhere you want to have nice things and get you know be a, one of the people that's earning the dough you have to work hard to get to that position. This project is funded by the Home Office and the film was uh, around guns, gangs and knives. So what we did, uh, we sat down with a group of young people and thought what ideas, you know, did they want to do, you know, did they want to do a film, did they want to do it via music and it's kind of like you know, the young people felt that um, films send such a strong message, you know, and they're watched by a wide audience. So what we did is kind of like, we kind of like um, looked at, you know, what issues could we look at, you know, or, you know, and the good thing is, because it's coming from the young people, they live in it. So it's kind of like, they looked about choices and consequences, really, and it's morals and ethics, you know, and it's about what young people, peer pressure, you know, and it's kind of like some young people are, you know, kind of like bullying into gang, being in a gang, or some young people being on the receiving end of, you know, being bullied by a gang. So it's kind of like, you know, I think the whole kind of process, you know, has been 100% youth-led, you know, and youth involvement as well. And, you know, that's the kind of like, I say that's the kind of like ethos of CGI as well, is having young people's involvement and participation. That's what makes the project so strong. You know, so like with the film thing, it's kind of like, so they wrote a script, they come up with these ideas, and then they worked with Gerard on the script, you know? Big script, you know, kind of like, a, yeah, big large script. And, it, you know, I'm really proud of all the young people that have been involved. And it's kind of like this week when they've been filming, it's been really good to see the level of commitment, you know? And, you know, what the young people are showing, and even though they're not actors, you know, I'll, 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 you know, well impressed, you know, very impressed. And we get a lot of feedback from parents and they're happy that, you know, they, A, the young people are coming somewhere, you know, somewhere safe to go. And, they, and B, they're doing something positive. You know, and it's kind of like, you know, some parents are shocked when they you know, their young people are, when they've seen their young people on like the screen and stuff, and they're like, wow, I didn't even see that side to my child. And so we're bringing out a different side, you know, to the, you know, to their children, and it's kind of like, you know, we're well supported by the parents as well, they support the project. We have parents that come in and volunteer on the project as well, so it's kind of, it's pretty cool, you know, it's kind of like, you've got the community behind you.